Hi, I'm Balaji Sishadri, Product Marketing Manager at Microchip Technology. Today, I would like to show you Microchip's Magnetic Card Reader Demo. This board features the DSPIC33EP family of 70 MIPS processors with on-chip op-amps, A2D converters, and timer interfaces for the mobile POS market. With the common use of cards instead of cash, credit card readers, also called magnetic swipe readers, are an essential part of any point-of-sale or POS system. Magnetic stripe readers can read any card with magnetic stripes, including some driver's licenses, credit cards, and gift cards. If you're working on a magnetic card reader, the DSPIC EP family provides a single chip solution which reduces the bomb cost for MPOS markets. The device features three op amps, one competitor, a 10 bit ADC that can sample at 1.1 MSPS, and four 16 bit timers, all of which are used in this card reader demo. Microchip's card reader solution reads data from a three-track magnetic stripe via a peak detection circuit and processes that data for downstream users. After extracting the data from the magnetic strip, it is converted to binary data and formatted for encryption. The swiped information is then fed to application management softwares through USB, RS-232, or PS2 connections. The DSPIC solution demo is built using standard development tools from Microchip, including a DSPIC 33EP 128GM304 and a MCP2200 UART bridge. The card reader board comes with a pre-programmed demo that reads the ISO IEC 7811 compatible cards in both forward and reverse directions and includes fully commented source codes. The magnetic guide head reads the three-track card data present in most cards. The board itself is less than 10 square inches and is USB powered. The USB interface is also used for printing the card data on a serial terminal. The MCP2200 is a USB to UART serial converter bridge which enables USB connectivity in applications that have a UART interface. A PIC3 can be used to program the DSPIC and can be seamlessly integrated with our free IDE MPLAB X. The IDE can be used to program and debug your applications in C or assembly language. Now, let's look at a brief demo. First, Connect the mini USB cable to the magnetic card reader board. The power LED turns on, indicating the board is powered up. Hold the card as shown and then swipe. Make sure that the card strip is in line with the magnetic head of the guide. Also make sure the card is not tilted during the swipe. And finally, do not stop or hold the card in between during the swipe. Swipe the card gently in either a forward or reverse direction. On swipe completion, the card data is printed on a serial terminal. In this demo, the serial terminal's baud rate is configured for 38,400 with a single stop bit and no hardware flow control. Generally, MPOS solutions are battery powered and most of the time is not active. Considering low power requirements, the device is put into sleep mode after every swipe. The device then wakes up when there is a new card swipe detected, reads the card data and prints it on a serial terminal and again goes back to sleep. The demo board can also be programmed with AES supported hex code. On a card swipe, three tracks of data, track one, track two, and track three, along with the encrypted track data is printed on the serial terminal. The AES key used for encrypting the data is also printed on the serial terminal. On power up, the user is prompted to change the AES key. If the user does not change the AES key, then the default key or the new key that the user has entered is used for encrypting the track data. Customers who prefer integrated op amps can use the DSPIC solution covered in this tutorial. But in addition, Microchip also offers an alternate solution for customers who prefer a low power MCU with integrated crypto. These customers can use the PIC24F solution that features the extreme low power PIC24F family of 16 MIPS processors that feature on-chip A2D converters and timer interfaces. The difference between the DSPIC and PIC24F solution is that of the integrated op amps. PIC24Fs do not have on-chip op amps and hence uses Microchip's external op amp, the MCP6144. That's all we had for today. For more information on this demo, please visit microchip.com slash demo. Thanks for watching.